Bills taking on the New England Patriots. Well, the kicker, Chad Ryland, has this one teed up, and we are underway. Off we go in Foxborough. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Allen looking to throw it right at the outset. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. So he stopped for no gain. And it'll be second down. Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 31-yard line. Again, it's Allen. Well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll run with Cook. And he stopped immediately there. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. going to throw escaping the pressure right and an off balance throw there and it's going to wind up incomplete it's been a good opening drive offensively thus far but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion so this is a big play coming up here on third down six plays got him down here this is play number seven third and goal setting up the screen for cook and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Bass is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? And he is out of bounds here on the return. Let's go. Let's go. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it. And that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Throwing Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. 
And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Now Jones. Checking this down to Stevenson. Short completion, just four yards. And that will bring up second down. Off the bootleg, Jones. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Patriots have taken the lead. So the Patriot offense stays out there, and they'll line up and go for two. They'll look to throw, and that is caught for the two points. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it, because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And there we saw rolling right out of the pocket. Maybe his momentum taking him toward that sideline led him a little too far. Yeah, that is difficult, isn't it? Plus, you're closing down your space, right? You're, you're shortening the field for your receivers. And their inclination is to go towards the sidelines as fast as the quarterback is as well. Hard for them to throttle down to leave themselves with enough room to stay in bounds and catch the ball. Allen, his throw incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here and just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Throwing is Allen on third. And that is incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game. And now it brings up fourth down. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. This will be fielded at the 17. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he'll get this to the 24, and it's second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. This is second and eight. Operating from the gun, Jones. He completes it to Henry. Finding space at the 40. He gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Looking to throw, Jones. Complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 35. Two minutes to play in the first half of an 8-3 game. 12 yards there and a first down. Set. 
straight ahead at Stevenson. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Back to throw. Jones, flush to his right. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Here's Allen on first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's brought down. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And no return from Montgomery. Bring it out to the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Jones now off the bootleg. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From the 48-yard line, here's the second down and four. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Stevenson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And he will have a Patriots first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Come on out here, come get some. Come get some. Come on, get some. 
A give to Elliott running left. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Second down and a yard. They go to Elliott again. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ezekiel Elliott from 17 yards out. And the Patriots get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. They'll try and throw for it. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Here's Allen. Looking left side and it's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Throwing on first down is Allen. Flushed out right. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he's brought down in the red zone at the 18 after a gain of 18. First and 10. Operating from the red zone now. Allen. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bills. Trent Sherfield, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he is out of bounds here on the return. The Pats at the line, ready to go. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those 
gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now Jones. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Here's Jones to throw. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Jones looking around. Rolling to his right. He finds his man complete. It's Stevenson. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Jones escaping the pressure right. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end, but now this game is over. Well, we all just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome is in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting. But in the end, how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win? So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.